Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 36 of the Adobe Animate tutorial series. So today we're going to look at how to add an IK bone rig inside of Adobe Animate. So to add in a bone rig what I got to do is I got to grab the shape just like this. So there are two ways how you can add bones inside of Adobe Animate. So let me just show you the first way uh, right now. So I have this normal shape right here and the first way is to get the bone tool just like this and drag it just across this like this. And then over here, just drag it just like this. So this will be my second bone and this will be my third bone. All right, so I added in three bones right here. And if I were to move the bones, you can see that this actually moves along like the arm of a character. So you can see that this uh, bone rig is actually quite flexible. And you can also, uh, let's say, uh, change the position and size just like this. All right, so let me just go to the bone tool itself. So let me just select the bone tool over here. And you can see that you can even enable the constraint just like this. So you can see, uh, set the constraint to uh, left offset minus 45 degrees to plus 45 degrees. And now what it does is it sets a constraint so that uh, the uh, bone does not move too much. So if you want to create a cartoon character, then you can set the limits to the bones just like this. And this is how you make an organic bone just like this. Another way to create, uh, um, like, add in bones is to uh, create separate shapes that is movie clips so let's say for example let me clear just create a new layer over here uh, let me just insert a blank keyframe over here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a shape just like this and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this into a symbol that's that's gonna be a movie clip symbol just like this copy and paste this out over here and overlap this a bit and copy and paste this like this as well so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, grab my bone tool over here just like this and drag it from the top to this side over here drag it from this side to the bottom side as well so now what happens is that you actually have uh, a really still type of a bone so you can see that you can actually create uh, quite a nice animation just like this by using the bone so you can see that you can create uh, quite a robotic type of animation let me just use the selection tool just like that and then uh, just drag this out over here all right let me just select the bone all right let me just select the bone all right select the bone sorry for that all right so now uh, by using the bone tool itself so uh, stiff is just being a bit of stiffs right now so let me just select the bone all right and use the uh, use the strength damping to move the bone out a bit let me just delete this out and try again so I'm going to uh, drag in a shape just like this I'm gonna create four shapes right now because uh, th that bone didn't quite work well right then so let me just convert this into a symbol this will be a movie clip symbol just like this copy and paste this over here copy and paste this over here and copy and paste this over here this will be my last bone so I'm going to take my bone tool right here uh, click and drag from the first shape click and drag from the second shape click and drag from the third shape just like this all right so that is how you create the bone tool and you can see that now the bone tool actually works quite well so you can see that this is how the robotic works so on the last movie clip what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to delete this because this is this will be there as a dummy all right so seems like that one uh, convert into symbol all right seems like this one uh, I got just copied all of them so now I cannot delete it usually what I have to do is I have to create separate shapes so that I can simply delete this and make it a dummy controller so you can see that this is how the bone tool actually moves and you can create a robotic type of animation by using this type of bone tool so the one that you use by default um, is an organic bone tool and the one that you use with mo mo move with movie clip is uh, pretty robotic bone tool so you can see that you can create many animations quite easily and to add in animation simply insert a frame and then move the bone tool just like that and then the animation just happens just like this so let's move the bone tool over here and you can see that the animation happens quite easily so uh, the key is to practice with the bone tool so that you can create many unique animation by using this software. Hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like, comment, share and subscribe.